How many is it gonna be? Six? That's not so bad. What's the first task? Well, this is where I die. Uh, hey mom. Hey sweetie, does this dress look okay? Uh, no, actually it makes you look fat. What? How dare you? A J. Must be a fuckboy. No way. I'd rather die. Hey, Mr. Fitz, can I talk to you for a second? Of course, Giselle, what's wrong? Well, since you have a free period, I was wondering... Do you understand all the materials? Yeah. Thank you. An A? I did all of this for a J-A? Whatever, just give me the next task. Uh, an A? I did all of this for a J-A? Whatever, just give me the next task. Steal something from a store. That shouldn't be too hard. Hey miss, can I help you? Oh, no thank you, I'm just looking. Be sure to call me if you need anything. Will do! Hmm, might as well steal something cute. Well, that was easy. Hold it right there. You're under arrest for thievery. <sighs> did you or did you not steal that shirt? Yes, I did, but it was for a task. End of story. Guilty. Wait. Damn it. A Y? J? What's the next task? You have got to be kidding me. I've got demons, you've got scars All the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven, and then we fell now You might think it's over, but the story's ours to tell Just know that I will be with you Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here while you're searching for your life out in the dark Looking for the moon, you'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you, don't look behind you If you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and I'll be I've got demons You've got scars All the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven And then we fell And you might think it's over But the story's ours to tell Just know that I will be with you Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here while you're searching for your life out in the dark Looking for the moon, you'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you, don't look behind you If you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and Hey, honey, if I died, would you remarry? Um... It's a trap, Dad. I wouldn't answer. Son, I can say what I want. Okay. And I probably would, just so someone can help me raise our crazy kid. Hey! Okay, would you be living in this house? I would hope so. I love this house. Would she sleep in our bed? Probably, because it's brand new. Oh, uh, okay. Well, would she be using my roller skates? No, because she's two sizes bigger than you. Son, remember to never take off those headphones. Okay, Dad, I won't. Hey, loser. You look so ugly wearing those headphones. Hey, leave them alone. <laughs> Don't listen to them. They're idiots. Thank you. Don't worry, I got you. But why do you wear those all the time? Well, my dad told me to never take them off. Oh, okay. Hey, class, we're taking a pop quiz. Hey, no cheating. Take those headphones off. He can't hear you. Okay, I'll do it myself. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Wake up, don't be.
Don't worry, bro. It's just me. Bro, you scared me. I thought I was gonna get a whooping. <laughs> nah. Um, you wanna play the game with me? Really? It's late. I mean, unless you don't want to. Nah, I do. Let's play. Dang. Haha, <laughs> I got you. Hey, Lil, bro. I don't have that much time. What are you talking about? The doctor said your brother doesn't have much longer to live. What? Hey, think fast. Oh, I feel so bad for you. Why? I'm the bully here. He should be afraid. Whatever you say. Hey, quiet loser. You know what? I'm tired of you being quiet. Are you ready to scream? Are you ready? I'm ready to beat your ass. No, I meant, are you ready to scream? Oh, great heavens! Hey, baby. What's up? You have five dollars to build the perfect girl. Me, of course, for one million dollars. A nice body for one thousand dollars. A good cook for one hundred dollars. Fat for three dollars and ugly for two dollars. Let's see, I'd use the five bucks to buy five chocolate bars. What? And then I'd resell those chocolate bars for two dollars each, which will give me ten dollars. Huh? And then I'd repeat the process until I have a million dollars. Oh. So I can buy you, of course. You're the bad. And I'd still have nine hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars left. Emotional damage. What is the world's smallest country? I know, I know. Don't pick me, don't pick me. You. I don't know. Well then, I think you need to focus more on your studies. Okay, but can I ask you a question? Sure. Who's Chris? I don't know, why? I'm about to ruin my teacher's whole career. I think you need to focus more on your wife, sir. Hey Siri, what's one trillion to the tenth power? Okay, I'm done. Hey, Dad. What's up? Can I have some money for a coat? Yeah, sure. Here's 400 Whoa, Dad, it's only $2. What? Really? Yeah. Dang, the price really went down. Dad, I'm talking about Coca-Cola. Oh. Did you receive any powers yet? No. Everyone's already received their powers but me. I guess I don't get any. No, I missed the bus. Hey, want to fly to school with me? For sure, I'll race you. We didn't fight you, Brianna, but you have no powers. Whatever, I like walking anyways. You're a powerless freak. Nobody likes you. Hey, stop it. I never said anything. I know you're using your telepathic powers to bully me. How can a powerless loser like her even show her face at this school? I know, she shouldn't even exist. I can't take this anymore. Mom, I'm leaving the city. I'm the only person without a power. I don't belong here. I think that's best. Mom, why did you call me? You need to come back right away. Since you left, everyone's lost their powers. When are you coming back? Everyone's so worried about their powers. Mom, I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Hello, miss. Mr. President? Come back with me right away. You're an important asset to the city. I won't. Everyone in that city treated me so badly because they thought I was powerless. Well, I can assure you that this time, it won't be the case. Brianna, you're back. Oh my gosh, I missed you so much. Wow, your hair looks so nice today. What? Brianna, welcome. We're so grateful you're back. Yo, Brianna, I never told you this before, but I have a massive crush on you. Want a date? Girly, he's so cute. You guys should totally date. All of you guys are fake. You guys are only being nice to me because you want to keep your powers. 24 hours? It's the first time it hasn't been zero. Look at that loser over there. She can never hear anything. Shh, she's looking over. Maybe she can hear. There's no way. She's never been able to hear her entire life. Hey, Brianna, your hair looks super ugly today. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, she can't even hear it. Leave her alone. 
Don't you have better things to do with your lives? They're such jerks. I'm sorry. Here. I wrote you a note since I know you can't hear me. Let's talk through these now, okay? Here. I have another note. You look so beautiful today. I really wish we could talk to each other. Dude, you are such a loser for hanging out with her. I don't think he's a loser. Wait, you can- Oh, please don't be zero. 24 hours again? That's the second time in a row. Hey, babe. Babe. Oh, no. You can't hear today? Here. I'll write you notes so we can still communicate, just like you did for me. OMG, bro, Blake has no hours today. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> hey, shut up. In class, that is why I believe the earth is flat. Now pay attention, this might be on the test tomorrow. You're lucky you can't hear anything. Mrs. Smith won't stop talking. <laughs> Look what you did, Brianna. Since you started dating Blake, he hasn't been able to hear anything. She must have cursed him. Actually, I can hear just fine. You can hear today? <laughs> you played me. Hey, Dad. What's up? Can I have some money for a coat? Yeah, sure. Here's 400 Whoa, yeah, it's only $2. What? Really? Yeah. Dang, the price really went down. Dad, I'm talking about Coca-Cola. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yo, sweetie, you still down to go to the Halloween party? No, I have work in the morning, but you can take my dad. Yo, let me go. We'll have a fun time. How do y'all say it nowadays? Yes, Cap? No, Cap? Yeah, that. Okay, I'll be Spider-Man and you'll be Batman. Okay. Bye, honey. A few moments later. What if he cheats on me? I'm gonna go spy on them for a little bit. Goes to the party. Hey, wanna go to a private room? They do the no-no. That was fun. I knew he was gonna cheat on me. Later that night. Hey, baby, I'm back from the party. Did he do anything crazy? Nah, I was just chilling, trying to watch over your dad. Don't lie to me, are you sure? Oh, well, before we got there, your dad loved Spider-Man, so we swapped costumes. Whoa, what was that? Um, my brown sponge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh no, mom, can I use your brown sponge to clean this? I'm sorry, honey, I lost it. Oh, okay. Later that night. Mom, I found your brown sponge. Wait, what? Our neighbor, Miss Rodriguez. Dad was using it to wash his face. Can I play? Sure, we can play co-op together. Mom, he won't let me play. What? I just said you could play with me. What's going on? He's talking the video game. He's lying. I said he could play with me. Just let him play by himself. Don't fight with your little brother. Thanks, Mommy. A couple minutes later. Hey, bro, can you help me get the controller back? I got you. Can I play video games with you? No, go away. Mom, the little one won't let me play. That's it. Get off. Why? What did I do? You fought with both of you, brother. I'm starting to think that you're the problem. Oh, great heavens! Yo, Uncle Frank, can I use your laptop? Don't you have one? Yeah, Bud's dead. Yeah, sure. Here you go. What's your password? It's my son's name. I'm gonna put my name as a joke. <laughs> password correct? Here, let me put the password for you. I already unlocked it. What? Mom, is Uncle Fred my dad? How's the food? It's great, honey. Son, what did I tell you about no electronics on the dinner table? Okay. If I see it again, I'm gonna take your game and your phone. Okay, no electronics on the dinner table. Two days later. How's the food? Great like always, honey. It's good. Yo, Dad, you good? What's wrong with him? When he sat on the table, I turned off his life support because you said no electronics on the table. Oh, great heavens! Answer the question. Why me? I didn't even raise my hand. Well, answer the question. Like, why can't you pick him to answer? Because he's always quiet and doesn't disturb the class like you do. I'll be quiet if you ask him instead. Fine. What comes after C? R. What comes after R? PG. What comes after A? K-47 What comes after X? Explosion Oh, great heavens! Everyone, run! Hey, Mommy, can I ride the bus to school?
with my friends? No, honey, I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom, can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hey, Mom, there's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry, you can't go. Okay. Hey, Mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey, girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can't. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park Through the jungle, through the dark Girl, I've never loved one like you Boats and boats and waterfalls Alleyways and payphone calls I've been everywhere with you That's true We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing new is sweeter than it with you And in the streets you run free Like it's only you and Jeez, you're something to see Oh, home, let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you Oh, home, let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment. Do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey, babe, I think we should break up. Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No! Honey, do you want some breakfast? No! But it's your favorite, chocolate chip pancakes. No! Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a day to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. You should really be more careful. No, wait, I think you might be my soulmate. He drives a Ferrari with no license plates? Maybe he's not as innocent as I thought. <sighs> Natalia, are you okay? What's wrong? No, nothing. I'm good. Really? You're gonna lie to me? Okay, guess I'll leave you alone. Fine, but you have to swear not to tell the boss. So your soulmate saved your life, and now you've gone soft and don't want to kill him. That's true, except for the going soft part. Well, now the boss is going to kill you. I know, this is why we can't tell him. You promised, remember? I know. I'm not the one that has the briefing with him tonight, though. <sighs> you eliminated him? Yes, sir, I did. That's a good girl. Did anyone see you? No, no one saw me. Very good. Very good. Actually, I should be going now, so... Get back here. It's time to teach you a lesson about lying. It's time to teach you a lesson about lying, though. Oh, no, Natalia. 
can I stay at your place tonight? I, I don't think I can make it back home. I can't believe he didn't kill you. Yeah, well, right now I'm kind of wishing that he did. He said I have one more chance to finish the job. I don't even know when he knew I was lying. Actually, I think I do. Because you told him? Oh, that is for thinking I would ever do that. Come on. Okay, then how did he know? I think your soulmate is the boss's son. What? You're sure you saw him in the boss's driveway? Yep, I took a picture of his car. This is him, right? Yeah, damn it, that's him. I don't understand this. If he's his son, then why does he want me to kill him? I don't think they get along very well. Well, the boss gave me 24 hours to get rid of him, and if I don't, I'm dead. You ready? Yeah. I already killed my soulmate. Don't worry, it's not that bad. Natalia, do you see any sign of him? No, not yet. Wait. Scratch that, I think I see him. But he's too far. I need to get closer. Freeze. Hey, easy now. My dad put you up to this, didn't he? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. Natalia, I took the shock. You know, you have really pretty eyes. Flattery isn't gonna work on me. Well, if you're gonna kill me, then do it. But you're wrong about not having a choice. What are you talking about? Listen, I'm willing to help you eliminate my father. This is your call. Do you trust this guy or not? You know what? Yeah, I do. Is it done? Yes, sir. Good. Now, where's the body? It's in the trunk. Show it to me. I want to see it. There you go. See for yourself. There's nothing here. Surprise. Hey, Dad. I can't believe you were going to have me kill your own son. This is a setup? Oh, Natalia. And to think you were my favorite. Have you forgotten about the chips in the back of your heads? So what? They're just trackers. No, Gretchen. They're a little more than that. If I die, so do you too. Fine. Then so be it. Because a life working for you isn't a life worth living. Natalia, wait. I have to. He's bluffing. I'm not. So be a good girl and put that... Told you he was bluffing. You two scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I'm just happy to be free. So, are we gonna address the elephant in the room? Are you referring to my kill count? Oh, that's right. He knows your number. Okay, come on. Tell me. Look, I don't want to say it, okay? Listen, I killed my soulmate for no reason. The only joy I will get is knowing your kill count. Uh... Do you really want to deprive me of that joy? Fine, it's... I couldn't hear you. Oh, come on, just say it. It's 269, okay? Oh, no. You need to change that number right now. Go go kill a rat or something. I'm not gonna go kill a rat. That's not even how the body count works. Excuse me. I'm looking for a girl. You, come with me. No, thanks. I wasn't asking, sweetheart. Hey. Okay, not gonna lie, that was kind of hot. I got you, babe. There's more of them coming. Looks like I'm changing that number. It's done. This guy better be paying me double. Or, I can handle that. So, did you get your soulmate's number yet? Yeah, I did. It's four. How about yours? Oh, wow. Mine's 60. Oh, I'm so sorry. Quite all. Eh, I mean, my number's more than that. I got this guy. You take that one. Copy that. Nice one. What the hell? Guess what? What? My soulmate's number just got bumped up to seven. So? So? That means that he was having, you know, a threesome? It's not that kind of body count. It's not? Then what does the number represent? It's our soulmate's kill count. So that means that he could see every time I... Yep. Oh, not good. You're overreacting. Do you know what my kill count is? No, because you won't tell me. Exactly, because it's really bad. Oh, please. Is it more than mine? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not like this guy is a saint. I know, but seven compared to my number is like nothing. <sighs> Hang on. It's the boss. So, what do you say? He wants us to take out our soulmates. Like, take them out on a date? Or like... 
Eliminate them. Obviously the second one. You know we can't have attachments. Well, I'm not gonna do that, are you? Natalia, you know what our boss will do if we don't. I really don't want to kill him. Oh, thank God. Not you, you idiot. Natalia, we don't have a choice. Hey, can you hear me? I'm getting a lot of static on my... Let me see your hands. This is for killing all my men. Everybody always told me to pick 80 years, but... I want to know what happens. Morning, Mom. Honey, why did you pick 10 hours? I don't want to lose you. You don't know for sure that's going to happen. I want to know. I'm going to school. Bye, Mom. Hi, Mr. Fitz. Giselle, you only have nine hours left. I just want to say it was a pleasure having you in my class. You were a great student. Uh, thank you. Oh, well, looks like somebody is dying tonight. How about you mind your own business for once, Jessica? At least I don't have to worry about bullying you anymore. Hey, um, do you know anything about the timer? You only have six hours left. You should have picked the 80 like everybody told you to. What if I'm really gonna die? What if I'm really gonna die? Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one. Wait, I'm not dead? Hey mom, look, I didn't die. Yes, honey, but there's a three on your face. What do you mean there's a three on my face? Here, look. I wonder what that means. Whatever. I'm going to school. Good morning, Mr. Fitz. Oh my gosh, Giselle, you're not dead. And there's yeah, a... I know. There's a three on my face. I don't know what it means either. Okay then, just take a seat. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who's alive after all. Jessica, don't start. I actually want to apologize for bullying you. Here, please take this. Thank you. I don't feel so... Hey mom, my nose is bleeding. Could you please pass me a tissue? Here you go, honey. Thank you. Mom, my blood. It's blue. It's blue? Get out of my house. But mom, I... No buts. You're one of them. Hey girl, my mom just kicked me out. Can I please come crash at your place? Yeah, sure. Come right over. Thanks. Thanks so much for letting me stay here. What's wrong with your nose? Oh, it's just a nosebleed. Let me see. You freak. Leave immediately. You better stay away from me. What's happening? I have to get to the bottom of this. Hey, doctor. What seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? You have to come with me. You're a... Hey, doctor. And what seems to be the problem? My blood is blue. Do you know what's happening to me? We have to go. You're a... I'm a what? It's not safe here. I'll tell you somewhere else. Come with me. Where are we going? And why is it getting worse? Because you're transforming. Transforming into what? Look, it's a blue blood. What do we do? Run as fast as you can. Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Don't worry, you're safe here. Where are we? How could you bring her here? It's not safe. Don't worry, she's one of us. What exactly am I? You're immortal. Wait, I'm immortal? Yes. How's that even possible? I'll explain later. Come with me. First things first, cover up all the blue with this. Why do I have to cover it up? Because if you don't, people will come looking for you. And what happens if they find us? They'll kill us. Now go do as I say. I covered it up. Good. Now go out and pretend as if you know nothing. Excuse me, miss. We're looking for the blue bloods. Have you seen one? I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. Your nose. Stay right where you are. Don't try to run. Skip school or stay home. My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey, mom. Can you give me a ride to school? 
Sure, honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jake? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey, girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant squishmallow. Are you gonna buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper? What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. Shut up. You went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Um, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking per- Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? Yeah. I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl Star. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never get to any American Girl set. Pick a color. Mm, I think I'm going to pick red today. I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. Whoa. What? 
Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're going to be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you can have this back. And just, um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. No pomegranate. No pomegranate. No! No, 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 no pomegranate. What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. <laughs> see? You see? Hold her. No, no, no. Oh. Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Oh, jeez, thanks. I, I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean, yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that. I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bruh. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Pick a color. Today, let's try yellow. Maria, is that you? Yeah, it's really me. I can't believe you're at our school. Well, that's a little odd, considering, you know, I've gone here for four years. <laughs> you're so funny. Smile. This is going on my fan page. You have a fan page of me. Of course. Basically, everyone does. I think this power made me famous. Can you sign my backpack? Sure. Can you sign mine? No, I was waiting here for her first. No, I was here first. Please don't fight. You're making her uncomfortable. I am not. Being famous is way harder than I thought it would be. They won't leave me alone. I think I see her down there. They found me. Oh, I think I lost them. Hey. Hi. I can be famous. Nah, trust me, kid. You don't. Being famous isn't all it's cracked up to be. Ah, you don't want to Vandaag een goede dag wees. Wacht. Hoe kom praat ik hier die vreemde taal? Mama? Mama, alsjeblieft help. Ik praat hier die vreemde taal en ik weet niet hoe kom nie. Honey, that's your soulmate's language. My seelsgenootse taal? Yes, and you'll only be able to speak English again once you meet him. Wonderlijk. Ek is geskroef. Hey Giselle. Goeiemorgen Jessica. Why are you speaking Afrikaans? Just need my skill team. My seals gonna try to tall. Girl, you're gonna struggle to find him. Yo, this is what I could get in Kate. Come, on to class two. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number seven? Um, yo, I could get in here in six days. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number seven? Um, ja, ek het gekry 69. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Girl, did you see the new guy? Isn't he so cute? Ja, ek het. En weet jy van waar of is hy? Ja, he's from South Africa. En wat praat hulle in Suid-Afrika? They speak Afrikaans. Wait, that means he's your... Yep. In on set a winner. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelijk twee en twee op mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is die sien of jy achtig. You're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, um, I'm Michael. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelijk twee en twee op mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? I can't even talk to him. I'm just going to be after. Well, you're going to have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, I'm Michael, and you are. Oh, you can't speak? No, she can. No, apparently she can't. Girl, I can't believe you just did that. 
Wat anders moest ik doen? Ik sta bang om met hem te praten. Well, if you don't talk to him, you're never going to be able to speak English again. Ja, ik weet. If you don't go talk to him today, I'm going to tell him you were lying. Alright, alright. Ik zal met hem praten. Good choice. Hallo, um, jij hebt gezien, mijn naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans? That means you're my... Hallo, um, jij hebt gezien, mijn naam is Michael. Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans. That must mean you're my... Jouw ziel is genoeg. Exactly, but why are you still speaking Afrikaans and I'm still speaking English? Nou dat jij dit noem. Ja, dit is nogal vreemd. Ik wonder hoe kom praat ik nog steeds Afrikaans en jij nog steeds Engels. I don't know, but it's really weird. Ik ga gaan proberen uit te vinden. Jessica, kan ik gaan met jou praat? Ja, yeah, girl, what's up? Oké, okay, ik heb met Michael gepraat, maar ik praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wie anders is dit dan? Ik ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans is nie. Did you know that Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hij een booty? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Jessica, kan ik gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Oké, okay, so, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wel, as dit nie hy is nie, wie is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans praat nie. Well, did you know Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een booty? Yeah, I just met him this morning. <laughs> Denk jy dis talk hy? There's one way you could find out. Oké, okay, waar kan ik hem krijgen? I think he's in the cafeteria. Oké, okay, ik ga met hem gaan praten. Giselle, there you are. I've been looking for you. Michael, hallo. Um, ik zoek eindelijk je booty. Ik moet met hem praten. Why do you want to speak with my brother? Ik wil je niet zien, maar ik niet. Maar ik denk je booty is ook mijn ziel genoeg. That's impossible. It's me. Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Michael's brother. Hi, I'm Giselle. Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I'm just a baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just a play date to you. What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on, how is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. 
Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I have the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey, Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real bit. All right, girls, on the count of three, reveal your symbols to me. One, two, three. I got a heart. I got a diamond. I got a star. What did you say, Denise? I said I got a star. <gasps> what? Mom, isn't that symbol the same one that- Cover that up. What? But why would I need to- Don't question me. Just do it. Aunt Cora, I covered it up, see? Good. Now if anyone is to ask you about your symbol, you'll simply say you didn't get one. Do you understand? I feel so bad you didn't get a symbol. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, I found out Jake and I both have a circle. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm gonna go show him. Yeah, go ahead. Movie star Caleb Woods reveals a symbol. Take a look. Caleb, show us your symbol. Guys, come on. I got somewhere to be. Please. Oh, come on. All right. It's a star, okay? Is that the mail? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Give it to me. <laughs> this is it. I want to open it. No, I got it first. Girls, please at least try to act civilized. <gasps> we won. Oh my gosh, we did. Let me see that. We are pleased to inform you that your whole family has been invited to a once-in-a-lifetime movie premiere. Do you know what this means? You two are going to have a chance to hook up with a big-time movie star. This is crazy! <laughs> oh my god! I called dibs on Caleb Woods. Wait, he's gonna be there? Of course he's gonna be there! He's the star of the movie, you idiot! We have no time to waste. We have to get you two some outfits. What about me? It said everyone in the family was invited. Yes, and last time I checked, you were adopted. But you guys chose to adopt me. Right. Well, that was because of my sister's will. It clearly stated that if anything were to happen to her, I were to adopt you. Well, you guys can't just flirt with celebrities. You have to go with the person that has your same... I told you to cover that up. I did, but I took a shower this morning and I guess the makeup was... Quiet. I don't care about your excuses. Where's our dresses? They're right here. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Wait a minute, did you guys change your symbols? You changed yours to a star? That's my symbol. Yeah, so what? So what? It's against the rules. I'm gonna turn you guys in. Mom! Put that phone down, Denise. The star is my soulmate symbol. It belongs to- Caleb Woods. I know. That's why you wanted me to cover it up. Let me ask you something, Denise. Do you really think that he would want you? I mean, look at you. He's a big time movie star and- you're a high school dropout. You made me drop out of school because you said I needed to focus more on the chores. Yes, but I pay you for everything that you do. But if you disobey me... Ow. Mark my words, you'll end up on the streets because trust me, no one is going to hire you. Girls, the limo's here. Hey, guess who's back from her beauty pageant contest? Maya, how did you get in here? The back door is open. I figured I'd surprise you. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine, really. So you do have a symbol! What? No, I... Girl, listen. I don't know what your crazy aunt of yours did to you while I was away, but you need to tell me everything. Maya... Come on, Denise. I want to help you. Oh, no, she didn't. You deserve to go to that premiere and meet Caleb. It's too late now anyways. Not necessarily. I have an idea. Okay, Denise, come on out. Oh my god. I love it. Are you sure it's okay that I borrow all of this? Of course. Oh, and here's your fake VIP badge that I made on Photoshop. 
I just really hope my aunt and cousins don't recognize me. Hi, excuse me, Caleb? You want my autograph? No, actually, I... I wanted to show you this. You got a star, too. Mr. Woods, is she bothering you? No, not at all. Here, uh, let's go somewhere more private. Glad you came up to me. I haven't talked to a girl like you in a long time. What about all your fans? Don't get me wrong, I love my fans, but they don't really know me. And my family doesn't even care to know me. Yeah, do you ever feel like your family just uses you so they can get what they want? Even if that means they hurt you in the process? Yep, like nothing I do is ever- Good enough for them? Yeah, exactly. Wait, you know, I realize I never got your name. Oh, um, my name? It's, um, Caleb, over here! Who's this? They're taking photos of us? Yeah, sorry. Guys, come on, can we get some space? I have to go. Wait! Denise, where are you? There you are. I am so upset with you, Denise. How dare you let your cousin go out with such a big stain on her dress? You were supposed to have gotten it dry cleaned. Oh, I guess it must have, um, slipped my mind. Well, you are very lucky that I am exhausted right now. We'll talk about this more in the morning. Come along, girls. We need our beauty sleep. Caleb Woods was spotted talking to a mystery girl last night. The paparazzi got these photos of her, but no one is exactly sure who she is. You wanted to talk to me? Yes, I was wondering if you wanted to explain to me why I found this under your bed. You... you came into my room? I own this house. Now answer my question. Were you the one talking to Caleb? Yes, it was me. But you know what? I had every right to go see him. He is my soulmate. So if you want to kick me out for doing that, go right ahead because I am tired of all of you guys treating me with such disrespect. She's going to be in so much trouble. Girls, you can stop spying on us. Denise is right. We need to treat her with more respect. Here you go, Denise. Now relax and watch whatever you want. I'll be back here. I'm going to get you something to drink. Here you are, Denise. I got you your favorite. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Here, let me see it. See? I'm just trying to be a bit nicer to you. All right, well, thanks. Please, if you're watching this, DM me a picture of yourself and your mark. Caleb is looking for you? Yeah, I'm gonna message him. But Denise, you're a fake. What happened to being nice? I'm just being honest, dear, without that wig and all that makeup. You don't look so good. Do you really want to reveal yourself? Yes, because my mom always taught me to be my... Poor Denise, you really did take after my sister. So gullible and innocent. Always outshining my daughters, though. <laughs> Perfect little face. Perfect soulmate. Well, not anymore. Mom, what did you do to her? Oh, relax. She's fine. She's just going to be asleep for a little while. Now, put this on. What? Me? Yes, you. You look the most like Denise. We'll make Caleb think you're her. Now, while Chloe gets ready, I'll take a picture of your mark. Perfect. Hey, Mommy. Can I ride the bus to school with my friends? No, honey. I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom. Can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Hey, Mom. There's this school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry. You can't go. Okay. Hey mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Girl, I've never loved one like you. Boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and payphone calls. I've been everywhere with you.
that's true We laugh until we think we'll die Barefoot on a summer night Nothing new is sweeter than I'm with you And in the streets you're running free Like it's only you and me Jeez, you're something to see Oh, honey Let me come home Home is wherever I'm with you Oh, honey Let me come home You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment. Do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey, babe, I think we should break up. Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No! Honey, do you want some breakfast? No! But it's your favorite chocolate chip pancakes. No! Are you okay? Should I call a doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a day to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. Yo, Dad, I'm gonna put a song on, okay? I swear, if I hear a cuss word, I'm gonna give you this hand. Okay, deal. My name is Diego, and my life is so sick. I have a lot of money, and I have a big house. I'm telling you now, all these other rappers suck. Come into my bed, so me and you can cuddle. I'm the world's dopest puppet. I'm gonna be so rich. I don't like my wife, because she's a big pain. No hand, LOL. Bro, you suck. Ah! Teabag him, teabag him. You suck! Enough of that language. There will be no tea bagging in my house. Sorry. Get shit on! 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 Your ass! Your ass! Shut the fuck up! One be one to you pussy! Pussy! Fuck it! Dad, it's 11, 11. Make a wish. I'm busy. Come on. Son, not right now. Okay, fine. I'll make a wish. I wish cheaters died. Whoa there, buddy. That's kind of hard. Sorry, my ex was a cheater. <laughs> Uncle Fred is calling you. Hello? Oh, I don't know how it happened. What happened? Your wife. She died in front of me. What? What was she doing over there? Oh, great heavens! <laughs> Don't worry, bro. It's just me. Bro, you scared me. I thought I was gonna get a whooping. <laughs> nah. Um, you wanna play the game with me? Really? It's late. I mean, unless you don't want to. Nah, I do. Let's play. Dang. Ha <laughs> ha, I got you. Hey, little bro. I don't have that much time. What are you talking about? The doctor said your brother doesn't have much longer to live. What? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, since we have 10 minutes left and no one has any questions. Come on, you always have a question. I can't think of anything right now. We're gonna take a pop quiz. Oh look, he might have a question. Who? I thought you were suspended. I'm back and I do have a question. What is it? Who's Joe? Joe who? Joe Mama. 
Oh, great heavens! Uh, quiz is postponed. Thank you for saving us. What the? Who ate my Oreos? Brother? What? I just got them this morning. I was hungry. You're hungry? Here's a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Boy, what did you do with my baby? <gasps> Mom, you're too weak for me now. Oh, really? Fine. I'll do it myself. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Do you want another knuckle sandwich? No, quit it out. That's not cool. Ouch! Like you're gonna do anything, y'all are both losers later that night. Hello? Hey. Quiet, kid? How'd you get my number? Don't come to school tomorrow. What? Please don't do it. Please don't. Because tomorrow's Saturday. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. I wasn't done. Don't come on Monday. Oh, great heavens! <laughs> Mr. James? Yes? Can I stay here tonight? What? You can't stay here. You have to go home. Well, my mad teacher called my mom for something I did, and I know she's going to kill me. Don't worry. She's going to be speechless if you tell her this. Later that night. Hey, son. Your math teacher called and told me you cheated on a test today. I'm sorry, Mommy. I don't tolerate cheaters in this household. Then how come you cheated on Dad with Mr. James? Honey, please don't go. I wanted to beat my two-second record, if you know what I mean. No, Mom. You were the only good parent. Please come back. I came as quick as I could. You were so good at everything. Mm-mm-mm. What the heck are you doing here? Um, I was just passing through, giving mail to the hospital. Oh, okay. Doctor, is there any way you could bring her back? I'm terribly sorry, but there's nothing we can do. I have an idea. What? What? Can we get McDonald's? No, we have leftovers in the fridge. Oh, great heavens! Jessica, what are you doing? I'm sorry, it's over. I'm with him now. Yeah, loser. No! The next day. <laughs> Give me that. No! I took your girl, now I took your drink. <laughs> I was gonna end it. <laughs> You're such a crybaby. What do you mean by end it? I, I poisoned my drink. You poisoned your what? Oh, great heavens! Hey, can I borrow your ruler? Sure. Thank you. Um, why is the five inches marked on your ruler? Oh, that's actually the centimeter size. OMG, that's three times the size of the teachers. Kids, come to the living room now. What's up? Yeah? Hey, Dad. One of you are going to get a whooping for touching the thermostat. Whoever tells me who did it will get $5. So who was it? Um, I don't know. It wasn't me. They both messed with it, Dad. What? You snitch. Thanks, son. Here's five bucks. So who's getting a whooping first? Oh, great heavens! I finally caught you on your own. You're not so tough when your friends aren't around. Please, leave me alone. You don't want to do this. What you gonna do? Nothing. You're right, but they will. Aye, aye, you got lucky this time. You better watch your back. Mom, what are those things on your chest? Oh, just ask your dad when he gets home from work later, okay? I'm sure he's going to forget about that later. Later that night. Hey, I'm home. Finally, I have a question. What's up? What are those things on Mom's chest? Whoa, um, they're balloons. So when Mommy dies, we can blow them up so she can float and go to heaven. Oh, okay. The next day. Hey, son, I'm back from work. <laughs> What's wrong? I think mommy's dying. What? Why do you think that? Uncle Fred was blowing up mommy's balloons and she was screaming, Oh God, I'm coming. Oh, great heavens!